Hello, uh, today we're going to talk about the Life Automation L1000 uh, manual semen freezing machine that's available exclusively through AgTech Incorporated. Uh, our website's agtechinc.com. Uh, the system is designed to be a pretty straightforward, very durable and easy to use system that you can take uh, on the road with you and uh, collect small, uh, small groups of semen and freeze them uh, for storage in uh, later use. Uh, it's a 110 and 12 volt system, which means that it will run off of a 12 volt receptacle in your car. Uh, we designed it that way so that it could be uh, universally used anywhere in the world. It comes with what you see here, the stainless steel uh, box that has all of your thermocouple and temperature monitoring devices all included in one package. Um, and it also comes with this uh, stainless steel rack that holds 25 half cc straws. And I've already got it loaded up with the half cc straws. Um, it does come with a five year warranty on uh, all parts and uh, really a nice system. We're going to go ahead and, and show you how the system is. This is the basic setup. Um, you have your power on and off switch. This is your temperature monitoring device, your timer, and then a reset and run button. So before we add nitrogen to the system, we need to turn it on. It's already plugged into the outlet here. Go ahead and turn it on. And uh, you'll have two readings here. One is the 19.6 centigrade or Celsius. That's the actual temperature inside the unit right now. And then we have a target temperature of minus 50, which is where we'd like the vapor phase to be when we add our semen to be frozen. Um, when we push the run button, um, We'll push that when the alarm goes off, when the system does reach that target of minus 50 in the vapor phase. And uh, at that point in time, we'll also insert our metal rack and uh, the timer will run for 10 minutes at that point in time. And uh, once the 10 minutes is up, uh, the alarm will sound again and we go ahead and plunge the semen at that time directly into the liquid nitrogen and our freezing is complete other than uh, loading the straws up into canes and goblets and putting them in a larger long-term nitrogen storage tank. So the next step is to add the liquid nitrogen and uh, we'll show that here in a moment. Okay, we've added the liquid nitrogen to the level in the uh, bath that's uh, directly indicated by that line. That's one liter of liquid nitrogen and we've allowed it to uh, sort of equalize and, uh, and stabilize. And uh, our temperature is starting to decrease. We're showing minus 2.5 Celsius on our uh, way down to minus 50. So uh, we'll wait for the chamber to reach that temperature and then we'll go ahead and add our semen. Okay, um, we've added our liquid nitrogen and uh, the system is on its way to minus 50 degrees. Uh, as you can see on the red lights at the top of the display we're dropping. Right now we're at about 48, minus 48.4 on uh, the way down to our target temp of minus 50 and uh, we'll go ahead and watch the freezer reach that point and the alarm should sound to let us know that our vapor has reached a temperature that uh, is consistent with us being able to uh, freeze some semen. So we'll watch it hit minus 50 here and then we'll demonstrate the actual process of uh, loading the semen into, this, into the machine. just go ahead and slide our tray down into the machine and these legs here will hold our specimens right in the vapor phase there at minus 50. And now with the green light illuminated indicating that we've started our run we can see that uh, the temperature or the, the, t the timer is uh, starting to wind down off of the 10 minutes that we preset before we started. So uh, the system will sit here and uh, specimens will drop in uh, temperature and uh, they'll sit in that vapor phase here for about 10 minutes. The alarm will sound again and then we'll go ahead and plunge them into uh, liquid nitrogen directly to complete the freezing cycle. Okay, um, system is getting pretty close to uh, being finished with its cycle. 
Uh, we've used up about the 10 minutes on the, uh, actually the 10 minutes has just expired as the run light has gone off. So at this point in time what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reach up with these tabs right here and uh, release them and we'll go ahead and plunge our straws directly into the liquid nitrogen. Okay, um, our freeze cycle is complete and I've added four 10 millimeter goblets and a 10 millimeter cane to our goblet holders that are along the side of the freezing rack here and I've went ahead and caned up or actually put in the goblets 15 straws that are ready to be transferred into our uh, nitrogen tank for long-term storage. Uh, you'll still see there's some straws floating on the top of the nitrogen and the bottom of the tank or of the, of the box here, but once you insert the goblets it kind of keeps them all cornered on one side of it and they're very easy to get a hold of with either some forceps or tweezers and insert into the goblets. The goblets are sitting in the vapor phase and the specimens are all nice and chilled. Uh, the next step would be obviously to uh, take this and put it in the nitrogen tank for long-term storage. Okay, we've uh, went ahead and put our frozen semen in the tank and it's uh, stored for long-term storage. Now we're going to go ahead and prepare the unit uh, to be put away uh, at the end of the day or at the end of the cycle. We'll just unplug the power cord here and remove the, uh, the rack, let any excess nitrogen that's in there drain off. And uh, we'll reset our legs for the next freeze cycle so that they're ready. And we'll just go ahead and place this off to the side on the bench. Uh, it's also, this system also has a notch in the corner that assists us in saving any liquid nitrogen that we have left over for another cycle. So it, all you do is you just pick it up and turn and you can see the nitrogen draining out safely right into that uh, container we have here from uh, in our lab. And you can see we don't, you'll use about you know, half of the nitrogen and you may need to top it off as you go along through the cycle. But that's a nice feature that allows uh, a lot of the nitrogen to be saved and used again. Uh, after that, we'll just let the system warm back up to room temperature, dry off any condensation, and it's ready for long-term storage. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to learn a little bit more about the uh, L1000 manual semen freezing system available exclusively from uh, AgTech here in the United States. Uh, we're based in Manhattan, Kansas. We have these units available uh, in inventory, available for purchase immediately, and we do ship worldwide. You can also order the system online uh, through our website, which is www.agtechinc.com. The catalog number for the system is H100, and uh, the system does retail for $2,595 US. It comes with all the accessories you see here, the universal AC and DC adapter so that it runs on both 110 and 12 volt systems, allowing it to be completely portable, the stainless steel control box, uh, our 25 uh, straw uh, stainless steel adjustable rack, and an operator's manual. Uh, for any questions, you can also call us 1-800-367-4016, extension 1. Thanks.